Hey Tiggies! Okay, today we are doing an iridescent blue butterfly mini. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. Now you're going to need some nail foil. I bought a kit on eBay. Uh, it was relatively inexpensive, but you can buy them separately, but you, it's best to buy a kit if it's your first time using nail foils. As you can see, I've started with a black base and I'm using these two nail foils. It's a, one's a lighter blue with a weird looking pattern. They've all got sort of, a lot of them have a lot of um, different sort of patterns on them and also a darker blue. Now, as I said before, the good thing about buying a kit is they also supply you with the glue. They also supply you with a top coat, but that doesn't last very long. Uh, but the glue is really important. You're also going to need a top coat that's not going to stuff up your um, foil. It makes it pucker some um, top coats. But Picture Polish Revolution, which is designed to be a glitter base coat, actually doesn't ruin your nail foil. So that's what I'm going to use. Now once you have your base colour, which is not always necessary, you don't always need to use a base colour, but I just decided to in this instance, you want to paint a thin layer of the glue onto your nail. Now it goes on to this sort of weird UV kind of bluish colour but that dries clear so you don't have to worry about that. And then the most important part about this I think is waiting four minutes. Now this particular piece of footage has was actually a full four minutes but I speeded it up so it's only a few seconds but it shows you how quickly it dries well how it dries over the four minutes but if you don't wait for that long then this is not going to work for you because it looks like it's dry but it's actually still tacky. It will never dry completely. Now once you've waited your full four minutes at the very least, all you need to do is place your foils with the uh, pattern side up onto your nail and rub away. You can rub with your fingers or you, I'm just rubbing with a cuticle pusher and uh, when you pull that off your nail the foil will be stuck on your nail. As you can see, I've got a couple of little blank spots. For some reason, that happens every now and then. Doesn't, it's not a big deal because all you need to do is repaint those areas with a little bit of um, glue and then wait the extra four minutes and then re reapply the foil. It's easy. If you get any foil on your cuticles or your skin, you can just clean it up with a bit of acetone or non-acetone remover. It's very, very easy. You can reapply your nail foil as many times as you like. Now, as I said before, I'm using Picture Polish's Revolution as my top coat for the foil. Uh, you might have to do a little bit of research to find, if you don't have a uh, Pitch Polish Revolution, to find a top coat that's not going to ruin your foil. It can be very frustrating. Now, once that's dry, I'm putting over a coat of a uh, big shiny top coat by Sally Hansen, so I can move on to the next step. And the next step is to use some black acrylic paint or you can use a black nail polish and a striper. Um, I'm using uh, my Pure Colour 10 nail art brush which I cut down to make it even finer. Uh, I got that from Stylish Nail Art Shop. I will link all the details in the description box. So what you want to do is paint a line uh, at the tip of your nail and then fill it in. Uh, it's like a curved line, almost like a curved French tip. And then you want to paint your lines coming from your cuticle down and then what you'll do is put some curved lines just before the cuticle so that you can make your butterfly wings and then paint the black above that. And once that is all dry, all you need to do is come in with a dotting tool. I'm using just one dotting tool that has two different sizes. One's sort of medium and the other one on the other side is really, really tiny. And put some dots around the black, uh, in and around the black. I kind of go down into the wings a little bit um, and I probably went a little overboard with my dots. You don't have to put this many dots on your butterfly wing. I just went a little bit overboard. Now once that's all completely dry, all you need to do is seal everything in with a good quality top coat. Remember that you've already got a top coat over the foil, so you're not going to ruin that with fresh feet, which is what I'm using. And 
And that's it. I really hope you like this one. I'm sorry it's so long, but there is quite a few steps and I really wanted to show it all to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thanks for subscribing. And thank you so much for that lovely thumbs up. It's really appreciated. Seriously, it is. Bye.